Today, we're going to be reviewing the Quick Wheel S1C Pro Edition. And this is my new favorite electric scooter and pretty much my new favorite transportation device. So with that in mind, let's get right into the video. For this electric scooter, I have to say I really love the design. That's because it's well built and has a larger frame than most scooters. This scooter is very suitable for a larger person. For myself, I'm 6'3 at 230 pounds and I found riding this scooter to be very comfortable, especially because it has a very high handlebar. And one thing that is really important but mostly overlooked is the load capacity. This holds 120 kilograms or 265 pounds. And this is great if you're already way over 200 pounds and you want to carry more cargo such as on your backpack when you do groceries. I've had other people test out the scooter and they reported that it was very easy to ride. So I have to say that no matter what size you are, if you're average or taller or larger, this scooter is very easy to ride. The nice thing of scooters is that there's no learning process. You just pick it up and you go. With an electric skateboard, it might require weeks or months to actually perfect it, and even then, it's very unstable. The nice thing about the larger frame and the handlebar is that it's very accessible to all types of people. The next thing I want to talk about is the power. Now, this is equipped with a 500 watt hub motor on the rear wheel. And I have to say, the acceleration is perfect. It's not too jerky, but it's extremely powerful. I feel very confident while riding this bike, clearing traffic, or trying to make it cross very effectively. Now, depending on your country's laws, you may be restricted to 25 or 30 kilometers per hour, which is more than sufficient to keep up with local traffic in the city. Not only is the quick wheel electric scooter equipped with an amazing, beefy motor, it also has some very robust brakes. Like the acceleration, the braking is very smooth. The scooter is using a drum brake system, and I have to say it's very responsive and overall makes it a very safe ride. This electric scooter is equipped with some very high quality lithium batteries. These batteries allow for very long riding endurance, so basically long trips, but also give you all the power supply you need for the high performance acceleration and torque. The speed and range is amazing for this type of electric scooter. The estimated range is around 50 kilometers, and that is a really far range. And for my testing, I'm getting more around 40 to 45 kilometers. And that's because I'm a really large person at 230 pounds. So your mileage may vary depending on the terrain you ride, what kind of wind resistance you have, and of course, how heavy you are. The performance of the battery and the motor is attributed to how well built this machine is. It is a very durable machine and it's just built like a tank. Let's talk about the folding mechanism. One of the benefits of having an electric scooter, say versus a bike, which is bulkier and bigger to harder to transport, is that you can fold it up and it can become very compact so you can stow away in such a small place, for example. Or let's say you're running errands and you want to bring it into a grocery store. People aren't going to yell at you that you're bringing an electric scooter. I just find that it's more maneuverable and easy to kind of run errands throughout the day. Now, the beauty of the folding mechanism is that it's just a one-step process that can be done in three seconds. Simply unlatch the buckle and connect the bottom piece. Even though the scooter is rather heavy at 19.5 kilograms for the pro version, I still found it easy to hold and move around because the grip is well balanced. Let's talk about one important safety feature and that's lights. The front light is extremely powerful and this has been very helpful in the winter times where it gets really dark around 5 p.m. It's very easy to spot large potholes on the street so I can avoid any hazardous terrain. The rear lights are always on and they're red. This allows you to be seen by other vehicles on the street. And what's really cool about the quick wheel scooter is that they give you signal lights, which allows you to signal your intent whether you're turning left or right. I found it really fun to play with. Some other neat little features that they include on the scooter is the non-slip antibacterial grips. Now, I have no way to test the effectiveness of the antibacterial quality, but during this health crisis, any effort to limit the germ spread is much appreciated. I have to admit, the handlebars feel really grippy, so it makes it very safe when you're riding this bike. When you have your hands on the brake and also on the throttle, I found it to be very comfortable to ride the scooter for long periods of time without any strain on my hand. Another safety feature they include is a rotary bell. One, it means that the end user doesn't have to go out and buy additional accessories, saving them cost. And also, it's just really nice that they think about safety first. In the middle of the handlebar, you'll notice that there is a LED dashboard. Now this is a fantastic dashboard. It's very easy to see in direct bright sunlight. There's no issues with that. And this is where you get to see things like your battery life and how fast you are going. 
Below the dashboard is a button. This button obviously turns it on, but it also allows you to change the different types of speeds. You can go from economy to kind of like the mid-range speed, and then you can go for super speed. My personal preference is to go with the middle speed. I find that it's a very good balance between not going too fast, but also not going too slow. If you go on economy, you'll definitely be saving on mileage so you'll get a longer range because you're not putting too much strain on the battery and the motor itself. And personally for me, I like to avoid the third level. It's a little too fast for my liking. I'm just not into riding too fast. But if that's your thing, you'll have plenty of speed to go with it. Now going back to the main physical button, this switch will also allow you to toggle your lights. Now with this particular model of the scooter, the S1C, you'll be getting an NFC unlocking system. Now this is really cool. What you'll get is two cards and they're basically keys to the actual electric scooter. To use it, all you have to do is press the main button and then scan your card with the NFC chip. This activates the scooter so that you can accelerate and move forward. This is a safety feature and also a security feature. In case anyone steals your electric scooter, you'll make sure that they won't be able to ride away with it. I found the unlocking experience to be very seamless and I personally welcome this security feature. Now luckily with the large frame of this electric scooter, it is physically possible to lock this to a post so that if let's say you're going inside a grocery store, you can lock it out and it's gonna be quite secure. But given that the scooter is rather compact and can be folded, why not just bring it in the store with you or just push it along in the store? This is the best way to prevent any theft to your transportation devices. I've taken this bike into stores and restaurants places where bikes are usually not permitted, and so far, no one has ever complained. That's the major advantage of the scooter form factor over a bike. It's definitely more flexible when bringing it inside a building. The next thing I want to talk about are the 10-inch pneumatic solid tires. What I really like about these wheels is that compared to a smaller wheel, it's going to give you a much smoother ride. But most importantly is that this is a maintenance-free type of transportation device. What I really despised when riding a bike was that I would get a flat tire and then I would have to spend the whole day trying to fix it and it's just a really cumbersome process or I have to take it into a mechanic and they got to fix it. So it ends up costing a lot of money over time because you're going to get flats. There's so much glass and sharp objects on the street, especially in an urban environment, that it's so likely that your bike will get a flat tire eventually. So not having to have to do any of this stuff and maintenance free is absolutely welcome and I really appreciate this type of feature on my electric scooter. Now, given that these are solid towers that are maintenance free, you're not going to get the smoothest ride in comparison to a tire with full of air. However, you do get a front dual suspension and this really contributes to the smoothness of the ride. So when I'm riding over large potholes or big bumps on the road, and thanks to living in Canada, it's definitely something that you'll see a lot of. I found the ride experience to be rather comfortable and quite smooth over rough terrain. Other qualities of this electric scooter that contribute to an overall very comfortable ride is its large deck. This is the platform where you stand over the battery compartment and it's a very solid surface. It's rubberized so that it's non-slip, which contributes to the overall safety factor of this e-scooter. And given that the platform is rather large, it can accommodate both your feet pointing forward. This is unlike riding a skateboard where you have to twist your back to look forward. By having both your feet point forward, you keep your back in a neutral position that is natural and very similar to that of riding a bike. This way of riding makes it very comfortable to ride this e-scooter for long periods of time without any strain on your back. Another extremely important but often overlooked feature of any electric scooter are fenders. Fenders will prevent any dirty water from splashing on your pristine clothes whilst riding over puddles. I'm not 100% sure what the water resistance is for this e-scooter, but I've tested riding this scooter in the rain and riding through puddles, and one, I did not get a single drop of dirt on my pants, and two, the electrical components were not damaged at all. I wouldn't advise riding this electric vehicle in heavy rain like a torrential downpour, of course for your safety, for your electronics, and yourself. The last notable feature I want to tell you about the Quick Wheel S1C is the nifty little kickstand. Don't let the size of the kickstand fool you. This kickstand can support a lot of weight and it makes the whole structure rather sturdy. In fact, I was able to hang some rather heavy items on the handlebar and I never had a problem with the scooter falling down. One potential issue with scooters compared to bicycles is that their cargo capacity may be lacking, especially when you can't add a basket. Well, the solution is to carry most of your items in a large backpack. Additionally, you can easily hang grocery bags on the handlebars. For example, I'm easily able to hang my skateboard and my backpack all on the handles without having anything on my sweaty back. This makes for a very cool and comfortable ride. Surprisingly, it's very easy to ride with a lot of load on the handlebars. And best of all, you can repurpose that folding hook to hang a bag, for example. Overall, my cargo needs have been met with this electric scooter. So I've been riding electric bikes and electric skateboards all my life, and I've only recently tried the electric scooter. 
I feel that the scooter is a hybrid between the two other types of transportation devices. The electric scooter shares the advantages of a more portable, compact qualities of an electric skateboard and the solid tires that give you a peace of mind that you won't be stuck with a flat tire in the middle of nowhere. On the other hand, e-scooters also extract the advantages of a bike for being a more easy to ride, intuitive, and more comfortable for longer trips. In the end, I have to say that I'm really enjoying the SC1 electric scooter. It's powerful, it's compact, and most importantly, it's the most fun I've ever had on a personal transportation device. I definitely recommend checking out. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.